Welcome to Knitting Daily, where yarn and fiber takes center stage. Join knitting expert Uni Jang, crochet ace Kim Worker, spinning and weaving fiberista Liz Gibson, and favorite stitcher Shea Pendre. Get started with the world's most beautiful fibers and yarns. Meet trend-setting designers, improve or learn new skills, knit along with us, and make time for yarn every day. Hi and welcome to our show. Today we're talking about geometric designs and I'm here with Catherine Bothy from Signature Needle Arts to talk about gauge. Hi Catherine. Hello, thank you for having me today. Um, new knitters often need to try and diagnose what kind of style they have in the way of knitting. Here for example we have um, someone who would be a very tight knitter, just right, or Goldilocks knitter, or loose knitter. Now how that plays into your knitting success is every designer will have a gauge that they will provide for you that tells how many rows and how many stitches they want in, seven, in four inches. This particular one calls for a size seven needle that I have here. And that enables you, when you meet that gauge, your project comes out the right size. Absolutely. The problem is you need to diagnose yourself. And the easiest way, although a lot of people don't want to do it, is to make a swatch a gauge swatch this is called. We have three of these here. You can see that they are ma made by the same size needle and I've marked out four inches here so that you can see how you would measure how many rows and how many stitches you would have. You can see that what is we've had happen here is we have someone who's a very loose knitter, too loose, that's not going to work. A too tight knitter, you're going to have a tiny little garment when you get done, or one that's just right. Once you determine where you are in this process, you're going to have to try and adjust. Now, there's two ways to do this, the hard way and the easy way. What's the, the hard, hard way? way is you can try a different needle style, something like this that has a short point profile so that the stitches get up onto the shaft of the needle. If you're a tight needler, you can get a better result. Okay. Or you can do this horrible mental concentration, which takes all the fun out of knitting. Or the easy way. Okay. And the easy way is, Try a different needle size. So that, for example, in the in the um, project there at the front, um, that's just right. That was done on a seven. In the middle here, that person is too tight, and so we need them to get into a larger size needle. And so I picked up that once. Here we go. Try a larger size needle, and you will get your gauge to be closer to just right. And if you're too loose, you can try a smaller needle, and you'll get to be just right. And you don't have to do anything different but change your needle. Don't make yourself crazy. And if you don't want to deal with any of this at all, gauging is just too much for you, you can be a happy lifetime knitter doing scarves, doing baby <laughs> things. It's not a problem. Great. Thank you so much, Catherine. We'll be right back on location with Unian designer Nora Gon talking about geometric shapes in nature and demonstrating how to make a dodecahedron star. We'll be right back. Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by Signature Needle Arts, heirloom tools for your knitting projects. The projects and patterns from today's show, plus more ideas and projects, can be found on the web at knittingdailytv.com. This is show 204. Continue Knitting Daily every day by joining the online Knitting Daily community and receive a free newsletter five times a week filled with step-by-step -step techniques, inspiring reader-contributed stories, and free patterns. It's about knitting all the time. KnittingDaily.com